Hey guys, Boba Bricks here with another video, and today what I have for you guys is a comparison video between the oldest Jai Starfire set and the newest Jai Starfire set. Now, I think that both of these models do look very nice, and the older one back from 2002, I think, actually still does hold up really well compared to how LEGO Star Wars sets look today. But without further ado, let's get into this comparison. Now we're going to start off with the older Jai Starfire model, the 2002 7143 Jai Starfire. This one is actually not called Obi-Wan's Jai Starfire, it's just called Jedi Starfighter. So it retailed for $20 with 139 pieces, one minifigure, and that I think would, it, it's, it looks a lot bigger I must say than a 139 piece model. But many of these pieces are bigger, such as these and stuff like that in those pieces. But I think that it still holds up, like I mentioned earlier, really well to the LEGO like, Star Wars sets we have today. And I really do like the design of it. So without further ado, let's go in depth into this model. So with this model, I want to start off in the front. You can see the curved in look to it that just kind of follows all the way back. Like all the Jai Starfires we've gone so far, and that's accurate to the movie. And then this one, the one thing I think does kind of uh, not look as great, I guess you could say, is this is completely flat. It doesn't curve down. I don't, I'm not sure if LEGO had the, um, I guess, slope more pieces back in 2002 when this set came out, but I think it still holds up pretty well. And then we have the cannons right here that unfortunately do not have any function. They don't fire anything like that. But this is a very early set and they didn't have much playability back then. And then uh, this set actually has no stickers, which is very nice, especially compared to how many stickers uh, sets nowadays have. But all, both, all this printing is printed, which does look really nice and slants down there, of course. And we have R4 in the little cockpit, which one unfortunate thing is that this actually did not come with, I'm not gonna try to take him off there because the wind may break. This is a more fragile set, especially since it's uh, 16 or 17 years old. I'm not quite sure, it came out in 2002, so do the math. But it does not come with the body, it's just a little head. But that's um, just kind of how it works, I guess. They just decide not to put it in the body, unfortunately but is what it is. And then we have this kind of design right here that I'm not quite sure, I haven't re seen Attack of the Clones recently. I'm guessing that's accurate to the movie. And then these little flaps, which I'm guessing are kind of to stop the air if this landing gear will stay, but um, are kind of to slow it down and just kind of flap up like that. That's probably one of the most playability things you actually have in this set besides the landing gear. And then we have the little cockpit, which does actually come free really nicely with the little Obi-Wan main figure in there. We're gonna take a closer look at him later on. And the, um, and it does curve in a little bit back there. I like that. And then this piece actually here is not brick built, I guess, or it is like brick built, but it's not like the more recent ones as you'll see later on. But it's just kind of this flat flag like piece. And then we have those slopes right there with the lime green. And then on the bottom, we do have a landing gear, which is, which the 2018 model that I'm going to show after this is lacking. And it has, of course, the front gear and these, which can slide off. This wing keeps falling off and I'm getting really annoyed. But anyway, uh, you can fold those down and you have the engines in the back, of course and you can adjust them different ways. You can have them all the way down, which does elevate it very, very highly. But I like to have it a level below that, just so that I, I believe it's one of the more sturdy ways to display it and looks probably the best. Yeah, that's basically it for this model. So now let's get into Anakin. Here we have the newest 2018 model of the Jai Starfire. This one came out last year. As of right now, it is 2019. I don't know when you guys are watching this, but as of when this video is being filmed, it is 2019. And this was set 75214 Anakin's Jai Starfire with 400 with 247 pieces and released in the summer of 2018. I really do like this mall. My friend got it for me for my birthday. So thank you him. He's my a really good friend of mine. So let's get started with this. In the front, one thing that I mentioned with Obi-Wan's is not have this slant piece, 
which you can see right here does slant down and adds a nice look to it. And then we have the stud shoers, which do fire, and I think look, uh, they don't look too great, but as far as playability, especially for those younger kids, they're probably gonna like this more. And then you have the exhaust right there, and the wings do slant in and curve in. And one thing that I think is worth mentioning is this is from the Clone Wars, so that is partly why the model does look different than Obi-Wan's, because in Clone Wars and the prequel movies, they are different looking, at least the ones that we see. And so then R2, unlike being in the side like Obi-Wan's, he does have his own little spot, and the whole droid can fit in there, which is nice. So that's a bonus with this set. And then we have the exhaust pieces in the back right there. And like I was mentioning, one thing that is lackluster in this is the landing gear. All you can do is fold this forward, and it does not have the two back um, landing gears. It just has this little piece right there. So you basically, all you can do is just set it like that, and it's a little more tippy. It falls from side to side. You need to have a firm surface to set it down on to keep this from. You can see it wiggling right there. And then in the back, we have the... Um, like I said earlier, the Obi-Wan's is more of a flag piece, this is more of a brick built, and another piece broke off with this one. Um, so that one's more of a brick built, you can see there, it's made by two of these, like, 4 by 4 pieces, and it's kind of just built sideways into the build, which I think does look nice. I think I almost like the Obi-Wan's look better with that, so that's a bonus for Obi-Wan's. And then you can see the Anakin's cockpit right here. This just folds right up and you can access your minifigure. There's a little control panel in there, which does look really nice. And we have a Clone Wars Anakin, which I'll show later on in the video. And then we of course have the Republic symbol and some stickers. This one actually does not have to, or actually, yeah, it does have a good bit of stickers, which is a bummer. I'm not a big sticker person. I don't know about you guys, but that's one thing I do like about Obi-Wan's. So now, let's get into the minifigures. Here are our minifigures. We have R4, Obi-Wan, Anakin, and R2. And one thing I do want to mention is that this body and arms do not come in the Obi-Wan's Jazz Starfire. It is just the head. I just happen to have the body and arms sitting around my collection, so I threw them on there to make it look more complete instead of just having the head sitting there. So one thing, I just want to take a moment real quick to appreciate how far LEGO minifigures have come. I mean, in a 17 year difference, that is a very long time, but we went from this to this with our minifigures, which I think is really amazing, and how much detail they can put onto a little minifigure nowadays compared to how they looked back in the early 2000s. I think that that's just amazing, and am really happy with how our minifigures look nowadays. So now, with our Obi-Wan, you can see there, he has n plain pants, no printing or anything on there. And a pretty simple, I would say, gyro, no printing on the back or anything of that sort. With the yellow head, with the dot eyes, and the simple beard, and the older, longer hair piece that they used back in the 2000s and 90s and whatnot. And then you can see the lightsaber actually does have a chrome hilt. It's not this newer, kind of, I guess, more, um dim down look to it which I'm not quite sure what lightsaber hilt I like more if I like the chrome or the normal but then he did also come with binoculars which you see him use on Geonosis in Attack of the Clones and then we have our Anakin which is the Clone Wars variant of Anakin which I do think looks really nice I love the printing on him and the little part right there with the belt and the leg printing I think looks phenomenal at least compared to our previous Anakin May figure, if I can get the camera focus on those legs, you can see that. And then he has the belt and the cloak and back printing as well, which is nice and that these early May figures did not have often. And he does have a double side face, which is something that Obi-Wan does not have, which May figure which May May figures do have nowadays, which is really nice to get. And of course they both do have the uh, microphone or I guess um, earpiece kind of I'm not quite sure what to call it, but the thing that pilots use and especially in Star Wars, the Jai use in their Starfires. So now we have our two astromech droids, R2-D2 and R4. I don't remember the last two letters of his name, but if you guys do know, make sure to comment down below. And this R2-D2 model I think does look really nice, and this R4, I think the body does look fairly nice, except for the head it does look a little awkward in my opinion. So let's start off with R4. 
With R4, you can see the head with the bottom is white all the way around. And now on the very top, we do have the astromech droid printing, which I think looks pretty awkward. I don't think LEGO had figured out how to print on that low of the curve back then in the early 2000s, but it still looks decent. And then the body, you can see just your classic astromech droid look. No back printing at all, which even our current astromech droids, as you'll see with R2, don't have. And then with the head with for R2, it is much more detailed. You can see LEGO has figured out how to print on the bottom part of the head, which does make it look way better and uh, more accurate. And then we have the body printing, which is not too different from the R4, but it's just a lot more detailed and I guess more colorful, you could say, which I think does look really nice. And we still don't have back printing on the astromech droids, which I think would be a nice addition to get eventually on these figures. And the legs have not changed at all, they're the same exact piece that we've been using in the early 2000s that we still have for the astromech droids today, which I think still holds up and is really accurate. So now, let's get into my final thoughts about these two malls and which one is better. My thoughts on the 2002 Jive Starfire and the 2018 Anakin's Jedi Starfire. Now, um, I would have to say that as far as playability goes, this one does beat the 2002 model by far. But on the other hand, this one I would say does look better in many places because it does not have those play features such as the stud shooters and maybe Thane R2 in the cockpit. His leg does stick out a little bit more there. Well, this one, just the head is shown much like in the movies. And the detailing on these prints is very, very nice. I love that they printed them instead of having stickers like this 20. Um, 18 model does have so I would have to say it depends on what market you're looking at for these two sets this one I would have to say is much better for kids if they're looking for something um, to play with and maybe just a more fun easy to build model that is more sturdy but as far as for the more older fans I would say that this one is much better it does have nicer design um, printing I would say rather than just the stickers and it just flows a lot better this one has a little bit of a chunky look through it and stuff like that and the landing gear is really nice and this one is lacking that as well so it depends like i said on what you're looking at for these two models i think that they're really great and that both of them still do go fairly well together if someone wasn't a big lego fan they could probably they probably wouldn't guess that these two were that big of an age difference besides some minifigures which by far the newer main figures are way better than the ones we had back in the early 2000s. Make sure to let me know your guys' thoughts about these two sets, what one you guys think is better. I'm going to leave a card right here for you guys to choose what set you believe is better. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram at Bricks. and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!